Hey, welcome back to Bear Squared. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm just gonna show you, um, well, really, we're gonna be doing Google Meet breakout rooms, but I wanna give a sort of reference as to why you would do that. Um, look, in class, you would usually do like group work, divide this set of students to, to a task, Maybe you get these students to do a certain task. You'll come over here, follow me over here, get these students to do another task. And then you'll bring up the, the class all together and you'll get some feedback. And that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to have that reminiscent online and show students that we can still make groups and do um, you know, group work. And so they can collaborate when they come as a whole class. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna show you the Chrome extension on how you can use breakout rooms for Google Meets. So let's get started with this. Go to the link in the video description and go ahead and download Google Meet Breakout Rooms. You know what, this is a really funny link to go and find. If you just do a Google search, uh, you'll find trouble linking it. So please go in, uh, in the video description and download this. Thank you for Robert for putting this together. This is an amazing extension until uh, Google give an update to um, the Google Meet application. Uh, this is a fantastic application to use, an extension, a Chrome extension. So of course here we're using uh, Google Chrome. Okay, you need to use the Chrome browser. Uh, you may want to go ahead and grab the Google Meet Grid View as well. This is um, a very nice application where you can go ahead and see all your participants at the same time. Because remember, Google Meet by default only allows up to 16 uh, members to join. And this, I've done a video on this yesterday, so you can go check that out as well. Um, I'll link both of these extensions in the description below, so you can go down and check it in the description below. So when you click on this extension up here in the corner you've got your um, all your chrome extensions okay go ahead and pin google meet breakout room and then what you want to do is once you click on this it will open up a new tab okay a new tab here and we're, i'm just going to walk through this from the right to the left okay from settings courses rooms and then meet this is your landing page this is the one that you're going to be using once you set up the extension okay so let's go ahead and look at settings settings you've got two options here you can you can do the breakout rooms using tiles, um, using separate windows, or you can do uh, tabs in the same window. I think this is fantastic to use tiles, okay, as a breakout room, then you, you're gonna have separate tiles in your um, desktop, on your, on your desktop, so that you can see all of the rooms. Instead of having them in tabs, you're gonna have to go back and forward from the tabs. So I like having this uh, by default. The rest of the options I'll just leave as default anyway. So let's go to courses then. With the courses, what you want to do is you want to put all your classes that you teach over here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my uh, grade 9 math class here. And for the description of the course, I'm just going to say math standard. Okay, grade 9. Okay, I'm going to add another class. So I'm going to go ahead and add another course here. This is going to be my grade 10, okay? Grade 10 math. Uh, same thing again. I'm just going to write math standard grade 10. Oh, forgot the E there, grade 10. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Now, these are my classes that I'm teaching. Of course, I'm teaching more classes. Just for the tutorial, I'm just putting down two here. Once you've filled up all your courses, these are the classes that you're teaching, then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and go to rooms. From here, you can select the course that you wanna create the rooms for. So let's just stick with grade nine math here for now. And what I'm gonna do is, this is my main course. I'm gonna add breakout rooms to this course now, okay? So I'm gonna add breakout rooms here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a few breakout rooms. One, two, three. I'm gonna have three breakout rooms, okay? So if this is my main one, I wanna create um, room one, room two, and then room three. If you do end up writing the same uh, code, it's not gonna do anything, so make sure you do give it a, a proper designated name, okay? So here, what you wanna do is you wanna put in your Google Me link, okay? The code or the URL or the nickname. Now, I've created nicknames for my Google Classrooms, okay? So for example, my classroom could be, um, you know, whatever you wanna call it, so bed squared, you know what, I'm gonna say BS. BS, grade nine, what my code is, okay? And then for room one, I'm gonna call it BS G9, and then R1 for room one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paste it and call it room two, and then paste it and call it room three. So I've got my main one. Remember, these are the nicknames that I'm using for my 
my uh, Google Meet, okay? So when I start my Google Meet, this is the nickname that I'm gonna use for this grade nine course. And then these are the breakout rooms. So beard squared, grade nine, room one, beard squared, grade nine, room two, and so on and so forth. So I've got three rooms here. Make sure you go ahead and you press on save. Okay, so that's save the course. Now, if I go to grade 10, you can see grade 10 is empty. I, I don't have anything there. I would go ahead and I would add my, um, my Google Meet link here, my nickname or my URL. Remember, look, if I, go, if I open up Chrome and I go to Google Meet, so let's just say I start a new code here, a new room, and I give it a nickname. So for example, here I might want to call it, you know, Math 10, and I say continue. This is the nickname that it's referring to. So I'm going to use this nickname. So if I start this meeting here, so here you can see that the meeting code is Math 10, okay? So if I join this meeting, it's going to say to share this out, I can use a nickname, Math 10. So that's what I'm gonna be using for my breakout room, okay? So let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's come out of this meeting for now. Let's go back to here. I would type in here. So if that was the, um, the nickname that I would be using, I will just call it this Math 10, okay? And then of course, I would add a new one for the breakout room. So I'll, I'll call this Room 1. And you know, you can call this whatever you want. You can call it Math 10 R1 for Room 1, okay? Or RM, RM1. So what do you do after you've saved all your courses and your rooms? Well, go to your Meet, go to this. This is the landing page. Whenever you open up the, um, the extension, this is the landing page that it's gonna lead you to. So we can go down here and we can go ahead and we can start a class. Now make sure you've logged into you know, your main account that you're gonna use your um, Google Meet with. Right here now, so that I'm logged in anyway. So right here now, I'm gonna start a class. I'm gonna choose the grade, okay, the course that I wanna, uh, I'm teaching, the class that I've got, okay? So for example here, I'm gonna do my grade nine class, and I've got three breakout rooms. Now what I can do, I've got three options, okay? I can open up and sync the main room, I can open up and sync the breakout rooms, and I can open up and sync all of them, okay? So for example, let me just start the meeting just with my main course. Remember, the main course, if I go back to courses and I go to rooms, okay, from down here I've got grade nine, this is just gonna open up the main room, okay? So BSG9, okay, base squared, grade nine, it's gonna open up that classroom. So let's go back to me. And here is gonna, so if I click on open and sync, the main room is gonna open up one tab, okay? A new window here, and it's gonna connect, okay? It's gonna connect to that one Google Meet classroom. Now you can see the code here, it says BSG9. So that's the main room, okay? Um, and then my students can come and join into that room. You can share this code on Google Classroom, wherever you're sharing it. You know, my students already have the codes so they know where to meet me, okay? So that's that done. That's the main room now, yeah? That's brilliant. I can turn on the camera and there you go. Hey, you can see me, how's it going? Uh, let me turn that camera off now. And then what I can do here is going back down to this uh, extension, I can open up all the breakout rooms. Now remember, I've got three break breakout rooms for my course, okay? For grade nine, I've got here three breakout rooms. So this is just gonna open up a new uh, Chrome browser, okay? With this, um, this link, this nickname for my Google Meet. So let's go to Meet again. If I go down here and I do open and sync the breakout rooms. So if I click on that, it's gonna open up three more tabs. One, two, and bear with us, and there's another one. So three tabs now and they're all opening up with the new nickname, okay? The nicknames that I've got for my rooms here. So let's go ahead and see these. So let me click on this one here. Let's see what's going on. Here we go. So we've got base squared, grade nine, room two, and of course, room three. So these are all my breakout rooms. These are just different um, Chrome tabs, okay? They're, they're different windows. So now I've got three different windows, and in fact, I've got my main window here as well. So I've got my room one, my room two, my room three, and I've got my main one here. Okay, and I've got my control for the extension. So if I go back to the main room, I can say to students, hey guys, uh, put on my camera, and I can put on my mic, and I can tell the students, hey guys, I've created the breakout rooms, can you go please join the breakout room? Uh, Samantha, Cole, and Simon, can you go and join room number one? And I'll give them the code. I can even copy this code. So if I copy this code, for example, okay, and I put it in the chat, I can post it in the chat, and then they can go ahead and join me uh, at that meeting, yeah? They can join me 
uh, in that breakout room. In principle, this is really simple. All you're doing is you're opening up different Chrome windows and you're logging into Google Me with your nicknames. This, however, the extension, it's so brilliant. It, you can um, jump into different meets here, look. So for example, I can go to room one, okay? I could jump to room two and I, can, I have these controls. So I can go ahead and I can start the camera for room one. Let's get rid of uh, this code thing here, okay? And then I could go to, I, I can start talking in room one. So if I unmute myself from the extension, I can start talking, people can hear me. Uh, and then I can mute myself again, turn off the camera. I can go to room two. I can turn on the camera for room two, turn on the mic for room two. Room two's over here, by the way. So now you can see that for room two, the camera is on, the mic is on. I can give instructions to my students. I can go back to my um, Chrome extension, close off the camera for room two, close off the mic. I can go over here, I've got to room three. I can do the same thing there. Um, I can also click on this and it will turn off the speaker for that room. So it's not gonna disturb any of the other conversations that we're going. We can also broadcast to all of the breakout rooms, okay? So if we come down here, let's just turn this off for now. Okay, if I go back to the main one, for example, here we go. What I can do here is I can um, broadcast to all of the breakout rooms. So for example, I can turn all of them off or all of the speakers on. I can toggle the microphone for all of the breakout rooms and I can put on the video for all of the breakout rooms. And I can go over here and I could turn off all of the breakout rooms. I could turn the cameras off and I can turn the mics off. And then you'll see here, all of the cameras have gone off on the breakout rooms and the mics are also off. So this is fantastic. The way that this works is absolutely amazing. Okay, so if you click on rooms, you can see a status report as well. So if I click on rooms that you can see here, I've got a status report for how many rooms are active, um, the actual students that are assigned as well here, yeah? Hey, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, make sure you share it with someone else. It may help them out as well. And if you want more EdTech videos on the Google Suite, hit that bell button and subscribe. And as always, I see you in the next one.